Jimmy Eat World, I mean, do you think you've gone through all the record company kind of hassles that most bands have to go through at some stage in their career and you wouldn't like to have to go through any more, that you did it in all the first early days? We've done quite a bit. I think, uh, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say we've done it all. There's definitely like some fiascos unexperienced by us so far and hopefully we never will, but yeah, I think we got, we were fortunate enough to uh, have kind of made some bad decisions but, but we're provided the opportunity to kind of apply what we learn from, you know, the mistakes. And, and now it's, it's a bit smoother sailing. OK, but what's a bad decision? For instance, I'll give you one that might be, but you might say it isn't. You get offered a record contract and you turn it down. The very first one. You know what? That, that might, may or may not be such a bad decision. It, a, a really bad decision would be signing a record contract without understanding it. Because then it, you're kind of, uh, you, you, you no longer have any options. You're kind of bound to something that's less than favorable to the, you know, the band or the group. Okay, but I mean, like Capitol Records, you know, like, I mean, home of, I don't know, Beatles and Beach Boys and Frank Sinatra and Foo Fighters and everything else. I mean, is that one you sat down and thought about? No. <laughs> no? Well, was there not a question of Capitol Records at any stage at all, no? No, I mean, it was, they, they just approached us. They were the only person approaching us, like, major or independent. And we just figured it'd be fun. Yeah, we were, when we got signed, we were 18. Yeah, I think I was, I was 18. 18, 19 years old, so we were very young and kind of naive, so. <laughs> so do you think you're on a kind of a major label crash and burn route from day one, then, in some ways, if you think about the majors? Um, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't have any expectations for it. You know, we were just doing it to get out of town for a while. Well, you could have got out of town and toured with Weezer once on a club tour. You said no to that as well. <laughs> we, we did. <laughs> That's what I was told. Uh, no. Nah. We would. We'd, we'd play with Weezer. You would play with Weezer. Yeah. Fuck those guys. <laughs> we won't play with Weezer. 
The two years that you took out after Curb Dog, did you feel that was as much as you could be out? Do you really realise, I've got to get back in and get this right this time? Well, myself and Dara kind of, you know, we felt the, the, that that band was like, you know, we sort of grew up in pro public and, um, you know, we were pretty young when we did that. And, you know, a lot of stuff when you, when you do when you're young is uh, it's not the best work you could ever do. So we thought, you know, Dara had a job. I went to college, and we were we felt like we were getting into the getting the in trap, getting yeah. in line, getting in line, as it were. And we thought, you know, we got we still got a lot to offer musically, and uh, it's just something you'd, we thought like if in 20 years time we'd look back and we say, what if, what if, what if, and uh, you know, kind of saying there could be regrets that we didn't uh, actually take it to its. Uh, take it to its conclusion or whatever. And then looking back 20 years time, you didn't want to be under that sort of heading of rocks eternal underachievers, which was a point with Curb Dog and even the beginning of Wilt, you'd never know until the Bastonado collection mm. as opposed to album. But I reckon it's not really, it wasn't a proper as such album. It was like bits and pieces that you had together. Yeah, it was. It was an EP that we had uh, recorded for, um, for Mushroom. I mean, we, we did a deal with Mushroom and it was for 50 quid for a single, <clears throat> which is kind of funny. But um, then they wanted us to do an EP and we had some demos ourselves, so we just stuck the whole lot together and put it out as an album. And I mean, yeah. it wasn't an album taught through from start to finish, whereas my medicine was, you know.